Hi guys, this is Chantal and today I'm going to be planting some summer containers in front of our shed. Our shed is right at the end of our driveway and I have two containers flanking the shed and I kind of want that area to look beautiful even though right now it's messy because we have a pile of dirt in our driveway that I still didn't finish moving because I'm still waiting on my husband to finish building the raised beds. He w works full time so uh, to find the hours for him to be able to do that is kind of difficult because he also has other things that he needs to do. Anyways, <laughs> that was a side note. Also, somehow everything just sort of ends up in front of that shed because the kids put stuff there and just everyone's everyone puts stuff there. So maybe if I have the time, I'll clean up in front of it. Also, I have to do a lot of weeding. There are weeds growing on the other part of our driveway, which is a gravel driveway. Uh, it's a more like a parking space, not really a driveway. And there are tons of weeds growing there. Today I'm not going to tackle that. It's just between um, just setting up the vegetable garden and all the chores that I have and, and homeschooling and my the pain in my foot. <laughs> um, it's, um, it's been hard to keep up on weeding in all these different areas and if we didn't have so much rain I would have probably been able to spray earlier on in the season uh, that area and it would have helped. I'm thinking in the future I might want to get some um, weed inhibitors and just kind of sprinkle them like they come in pellets or something like that and you kind of sprinkle them over that area where you don't want any weeds to sprout and that works out so I think that's what I'm going to do in the future for the gravel area. Anyways, I actually did plant these as summer containers. I planted them as spring containers and kind of planted seeds so in, in the spring containers so that they would slowly shift into summer containers um, and I, I planted Earlier in the spring I just planted some pansies, they look beautiful on their own and they're still going well, they're starting to kind of look a little sad, but they're, they're still doing pretty good for this time of the year. And I also planted in between the pansies some nasturtium seeds and in the middle I planted some sweet pea seeds. And they all sprouted, they're all doing great except... I don't like how the sweet peas look in the containers. I was hoping they would kind of climb on the obelisk and I was planning on coming and putting twine uh, down from the middle of the structure down to the bottom so that they would have something more to grab on. But I didn't have the time to do that so they're kind of all leaning into one direction <laughs> and they're sticking out outside the pods and they're cre creating kind of this messy look and I really don't like that at all. So, and the other side, on the opposite side of the shed where it gets more sunlight, the deer came and ate all the sweet peas that were there. They kind of munched them down to half the size they were. Uh, the sweet peas on the side where they were not eaten, they're starting to flower, finally. But I just don't like the way how they look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the sweet peas. I got some pink veronica and that's a perennial so I can always come at the end of the season and transplant it into the ground. I might put it in the butterfly garden or in the front in one of our front flower beds and I also got some pink and purple petunia and initially I wanted a purple salvia but I couldn't in the middle but I couldn't find that and I was thinking of having just kind of a um, supertunia bubble gums or something of the sort surrounding the salvia but I didn't find any of the proven winners uh, plants so I just got what I got <laughs> and the Veronica looks beautiful and it's a perennial so that's a bonus I'm sorry the Sun is gonna keep going and coming so right now I'm just going to pull the sweet peas and plant and I'll show you the final result. I forgot to mention that I might plant the sweet peas in my other flower bed that's facing the shed. Uh, I, we kind of have sort of like a trellis 
structure, if you want to say. It's like one of those structures you put on the side of the deck to kind of hide underneath the deck and maybe they, they would climb on that. Maybe. I don't know. I'll just plant them there anyways in the back and see what they do. Covered her face with dirt. <laughs> I love you. Okay, so I finished planting the containers. I ended up not removing the pansies because I was thinking they will be covered by the by the foliage of the other plants around them as they kind of peter out. And I kind of like the flowers right now, how they look like. Probably, I might regret that decision. We'll see. I'm hoping that I'll be able to collect some seeds from them and that's the main reason why I left them. I bought these pansies earlier this spring but I really like them and I'm thinking I should save some seeds from them. I decided to not plant the sweet peas that I just pulled and if I'm going to plant them I might just plant them in like one of the small pots on the deck. I don't know. 
Yeah. And have something. You did. <laughs> and have something for them to travel us up on. I don't know. I don't know. I have some other sweet peas that I didn't plant yet. They're still sitting in this large container. I think I'll just take those and plop them in the flower bed because that was my initial plan. But my initial plan was to plant them kind of across the fence. I think that didn't work out as I wanted it because I didn't plant them in separate containers. I just planted them in one big tray and because I kind of ran out of containers. And um, now it's really hard to separate them because they have really, um, connected roots together and if I do I'm just gonna damage them they're already starting to flower so I'm just gonna plop the whole thing in one place and hope that they would trellis up and see I don't know anyways so I did give the pots each pot some bone meal and some plant tone because um, I kind of wanted to rejuvenate it and this is what I do I just kind of every once a month or every one month and a half I give them some um, all-purpose fertilizer and the reason why I gave them the bone meal is because I want them to focus more on flowering and this is what bone meal helps with and I didn't give them earlier in the season bone meal and I didn't see a lot of flowering especially on the sweet peas they can they were super late in flowering so but maybe because it was cold I don't know we had a really cold season this year um, right now they look very sad and the petunias are very little and they do need dead, constant deadheading so that's why I really wanted to get one of the proven winners ones because I didn't want to have to go and deadhead but it's better something than nothing and I really love the <laughs> I really love the Veronica but it doesn't really work with the orange um, nasturtium, but we'll just make it work. I don't want to pull those nasturtiums. <laughs> I might put them, pull them later on in the season when the petunias are doing better. We'll see. And I might even pull the pansies out. I don't know. We'll update you on that. <laughs> I hope this video was fun for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something new. I don't know. Uh, I will leave a few links over here for some more gardening stuff and such. Over here I do gardening and from scratch recipes and self-sufficiency. So I hope to see you guys soon. Stay tuned and uh, don't forget to, subs to subscribe if you are new here. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye.